Hello YouTube, just making a video to let everybody know what I've been up to. Uh, as we all know, silver's kind of been hovering around $16 an ounce, which uh, is safely in my buy zone. Uh, so I've been doing my version of bullion stacking, which is raiding every single uh, melt box, melt bin, junk drawer, whatever I can find, where someone will sell me silver at or below spot price. So all of this came at or below spot. And I'm going to try to keep the camera as steady as I can. Sorry, these handheld videos don't always cooperate in that regard. And I'll just talk about some random stuff. So starting with the Netherlands and Mexico. Uh, those little 25 centavo ones, uh, those are a really low silver percentage. They are, uh, I think, 30 or 35 percent. And then moving on to New Zealand. And then also in the low silver percentage, the Swedish coins, I believe, are 40 percent. But I think the crown is actually a really neat design on the Swedish coins. And then Australian. And I'm going to set the camera down for a second to bring this one up. Um, so the nice thing about this coin, it's a sterling uh, anniversary of the silver wedding. I got it for $24.80. And as you can see, the denomination is $25, so instant profit right there. Nice sterling piece. Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to show, I have no idea what this is. Um, it was in their silver melt box. The guy who was there at the time had no idea what it was, um, how much silver was in it, what it was worth. Um, I told him it was fine to just call it sterling. Um, and weigh it out as if it was sterling, even though it probably isn't. It's small enough. It's really thin, too. Um, that, you know, if it's 80% or even 60%, it's not really going to make much of a difference in the price of the overall lot that I was buying. So, But if anybody does know what this thing is, I would love to find out where it's from and what the denomination is. Okay. Back to the moving camera. Switzerland, another one of those uh, France, 50 francs. The first one I showed of these was super, super shiny. This one's still pretty shiny, but not as shiny. Well, that's a neat coin. And then this one was uncirculated. Does have some weird toning. Uh, and so, you know, it's nice when you find silver coins at spot price that seem like they could carry a numismatic premium if you were to actually resell them as such or as what they are and I'll get to some more of those a little later um, but now we get into what I have the most of well uh, and that's Canadian and British so all the British is 50% I believe I don't think there's any sterling in there whole bunch of British and yeah just going back to the the numismatic, you know, some of these, these are uh, British florin or two shilling. Um, it's the same, florin and two shilling is the same. But this one looks very detailed, very nice. You can see there are some wear spots on the face, for sure. But I mean, there's no way that this is like a cull value coin. Same with this one. So these are some of the nicest florins that I have. And I got them right for spot. Alright, focus, come on. There we go. And then the Canadian, lots of Canadian quarters. The nicer ones are in flips, um, and those are ones that I got um, at local coin shops. 
And there are some pretty nice ones. This little cougar looks pretty good. And then the less nice ones are going in this tube. There's 21 there. Uh, there's supposed to be five more. The guy sold me, undersold me by five coins, and so I sent him a message and he said he was putting the other five in the mail. Um, but these ones in the tube, and the five that are in the mail, I got those for, you know, if you actual uh, do the actual silver weight on them, um, calculate the price per ounce, I got these for uh, about $13 an ounce. Um, I skipped over this little Rosie on accident. Uh, there's a public copy machine where I work, and I pulled this one out of the change and just replaced it with a, a regular dime. <laughs> That's a nice little silver dime. And then finishing out the Canadian. And these dollars. The third one doesn't look that great. Um, but this totem dollar, I believe, is uncirculated. And again, just bought it for spot. And this goose. Probably not uncirculated, but. A pretty nice coin overall. Uh, if you check the link in the comments below, you'll find a link to Mr. Rebates, which is an alternative to Ebates since they no longer uh, give cash back for uh, eBay purchases in the coins category. Uh, Silver Siren found Mr. Rebates for us. They will give cash back for any purchase that normally qualifies for eBay bucks, uh, which means bullion is still out, but anything in the coins and collectibles category is acceptable. Coins and paper money. So that usually leaves a, a reasonable selection of things to get. Uh, one thing to note, I found this out from their terms of service. They will not give cash back on purchases where a gift card is used. So you can't use them to buy a gift card off of a site like Gift, which is G-Y-F-T. Um, that was in another promotion by Mr. Vegeta, where people got some cheap gift cards. Um, but anyway, if you use a gift card, your Mr. Rebates will not apply, so you won't get the cash back on that. Um, which is, I guess, to prevent you from double Mr. Rebatesing. And then, uh, I don't know, so Gift also has like a points system, which I think equates to about 2% cash back. I'd have to, I haven't really looked that close into it, but I think that's about where it comes in. Um, and Mr. Rebates doesn't really seem to be applying points, or sorry, I get Mr. Rebates, I don't seem to get points. Um, I, that may be a fluke or it may be intentional. I have sent a message to their um, customer service and I haven't heard back. But uh, if it's not intentional, then that would be another 2%. And I've got a credit card with 2% on the way. So lots and lots of cash back and I've got a four times eBay bucks going. So if anybody has good ideas for four times eBay bucks, by all means let me know. I've been thinking about the goddesses of Olympus Athena coin um, or possibly just picking up both coins and starting the set. Um, also kind of looked at that Mythical Creatures coin, the high relief 5 ounce. Uh, that is pretty pricey though. Possibly another 5 ounce kook. Uh, or anything else I can find. I've definitely been looking at some numismatic stuff too. So please like, comment, and subscribe. I think that's the first time I've ever asked people to do that. Um, Put a shout out to Silver Siren in my comment. Like I said, she's the one who found Mr. Rebates, and a link to Mr. Rebates down in my comment so you can start getting cash back again on your coin purchases. Uh, it will be using my referral uh, ID. Uh, I never actually got any referrals for Ebates. Be nice to get some for Mr. Rebates. 
So I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, I am definitely not done picking this stuff up. Uh, until spot price goes up, I will grab it wherever I can find it. And then I will show it to you. And then I will put it away. Thanks for watching, everybody.